What? Um, I, I was told you could train me. No. Go away. I'm not leaving. I need a place to camp. There must be another way in. Please, all I ask is a moment of your time. I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention to mislead. So let me try to clarify. Get the hell off my land. Hear me out. What are you so afraid of? Afraid? You think I'm afraid of anything? Least of all a self-important little scab like you? Ah. Oh, you might dream of being a hero. Of riding to rescues. Of saving the world. But stay this course, and the only thing you're gonna be is dead. moved on, boy. Rescue them, too. I will not leave, do you hear me? I'm never leaving. Just wait, old man. I will not be defeated so easily. These are square toes. This will be easy. That's what you said last time, and I wound up with a dead horse and a dark eye. Who are you? No one you need concern yourself with, little britches. Best cut for something bad happens. No. Can't say we didn't warn ya. Look at the savage dog! 
for the old man then that it maybe this will get you talking oh. Sorry. Not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. Anyway, who are you? My name is Rado Hangado. Right. Well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Now, tell me why you're here. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. And yet, here you are. The spirit said that... that I am... spirits of yours have been harassing the assassins for centuries. Ever since Ezio uncorked the bottle. Ah, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? Well, they're settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. And so, this is why the Assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Uh, I have no doubt you'll try. <sighs> Come on. I have something to show you. Careful. Uh, wasn't a joke when I said this place was coming apart. Why don't you repair it? What's the point? Besides, I don't have materials for the job. So buy them. <laughs> Look at me. You think I can just march into some store purse full of pounds and go shopping? Yes. Why not? I'm so naive. This way. Just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin. I did not. I would never presume... That's all right. I know they've a certain allure. 
Very well. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Come on, then. We've work to do. You are a speck of dust, a nothing. You and all your kind, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. What do the Templars want? What they've always wanted. Control. They see an opportunity in the colonies. A chance for new beginnings, unfettered by the chaos of the past. This is why they back the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs. A people in service to the principles of order and structure. I have seen what is to come if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole thing together. So I trained, in running, in climbing, in fighting, in falling, and for every lesson that concerned the body, there were two that concerned the mind. Language, philosophy, logic, the arts. Achilles taught most often of the assassins and Templars, their structures, origins, and purpose. Centuries of history condensed into a few short days. I told him of the men who had burned my village, of Charles Lee and my promise to him. Achilles explained that Lee and his followers were Templars, and that they were led by none other than my own father. If I was... Good morning. To you as well. You taking a trip? I've decided to do something about the house. And you're going to help me. Get it. Sorry. Come on. This place is incredible. The people, the sounds and smells. I could walk these streets for days and know not even half its wonders. I thought the same as you upon a time. These days, I much prefer the quiet of the countryside. But there is so much life here. So many opportunities. For a few, my boy. For a few. There's a store close to here. You're to buy the items on this list. Tell them where the carriage is and they'll see that it's loaded. Understood? Yes. Good. 
You're also going to need a new name. Your skin is fair enough that you might pass for one with uh, Spanish or Italian blood. Better to be thought a Spaniard than a native. And both are better still than I. That is not true. What's true and what is aren't always the same. What would you call me then? Kana. Yes, that will be your name. All right then, off you go. You lost? I need the items on this list. Will you be paying with coin or trade? Some of these things I have, some I don't. Lumber's hard to come by since my supplier up and vanished. I have the tools and pitch, though. Nails, too. So, uh, where do you want this delivered? Our wagon is near the state house. I should return to Achilles. Who stands in Parliament for Boston? Everyone! Virginia, come with us! No one. We've had enough! Ragtag and riffraff, come with me! We're headed to the customs house to toss some quips at the lobsters. What happened? That's what we're going to find out. James, follow there, me. Come on, we're going to ruffle some redback feathers. With me to King Street, we'll show them. Down to the customs house for a spree. Come along. This is our real boyfriend. Someone has to answer these crimes. Such oppression. No more. Enough is enough. Yeah, we'll we'll make another gun. Attention to all three of you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Your plot has ended. Not quite. Oh, damn you! Fire! To help. Who are you? Well, just a messenger. Mr. Adams wants a word. What? Why? Well, you'll need asking that yourself. He'll meet you tonight near Faneuil Hall. I suggest laying low to win.
Over here. You're Achilles' boy. Connor, was it? I saw what happened at the townhouse. A fine mess, that. Who are you? Samuel Adams, at your service. Achilles asked me to get you out of Boston. Explain. The whole city's looking for you. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! A criminal stalks the streets, wanted in connection with the massacre at the townhouse. Citizens are advised to call the guards if they see him. Ten pounds to whoever brings this mad What am I supposed to, to do? Yeah. Well, you can take down these posters for a start. Return to me once you remove the others. We can't be seen together until these posters are gone. Say so long as those posters remain. Ah, Connor. There you are. I'd like you to meet Cyrus. Is it... is he the killer? Peace. Cyrus is on our side, or rather, for the right price he will be. Have you seen this man? Watch and learn. The man responsible for today's shooting may have been in disguise. A wig and makeup tin were found near the scene of the crime. Witnesses describe a middle-aged gentleman of pale complexion fleeing towards the wharves, rifle in arm. Thank you kindly, Cyrus. Pleasure. Come on, then. There's still one last bit of work to do. Where are we going? To the printer. Where do you think all those posters came from? They're made by a machine. We need to shut it down. I can go by rooftop and meet you there. Tunnels. The Masons have a whole network of them under the city. They're quite useful when speed and secrecy are required.
don't be loitering around here, fella. Now, don't you go nosing around here. inside. Let's find our way should we get turned around. I wonder why they built these tunnels. Excellent. Let us move on. Much as it pains me to say it, we must follow the rats, as they often move in the direction of an exit. Apologize for ever doubting. No wonder Achilles has taken such an interest in you. Ours. You don't suppose lockpicking is part of your repertoire? Well done. The printer isn't far. Let us reconvene there. 